these two pigeons. She's having a field day on my patio. Don't be doing nothing nasty on my patio. What's up, y'all? If this hat doesn't scream that I'm just too lazy to do my hair today, then I don't know what does. I don't need to wear this. I really wanted to do a video on this wig that I got, but I also didn't want to do a video on this wig that I got. The compromise for myself is to do a vlog. I think I'm going to go with the raw grittiness of a vlog, if that makes sense, because I don't know what I'm doing, because I can't plan a video. I don't know what I'm doing. My thought process was I wanted, I've been wanting to go ginger for a while. Also, since my name is Kim, hi guys, my name's Kim, if you didn't know. <laughs> So like the last four Halloweens, I've been saying I'm gonna dress up as Kim Possible and I never do anything. Long story short, I've been wanting a mullet. I'm not talking like Joe Exotic. I'm not even talking Billy Ray Cyrus. I'm talking like a Miley Ray Cyrus. That good in between situation. I don't have that much faith in myself at this moment, nor the wig, but let's see. Like there's no, there's no way in knowing unless we just try, right? I got this wig from AliExpress. The store is called Elia. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. I got it. 18 inches and it is a curly wig. It's the kinky curly. It's a 1B and an orange. So I hope this turns out the way I want it to. If not, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. But this is the wig. It's a T-part wig. So they're basically just like skimping out on the lace hairline in the front. And then this part down the middle. The knots need bleaching, which I never really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it since there's not that much lace. Like I can't mess it up that bad, you know? I'm just gonna vlog me like messing around with this wig and then we'll just see what it comes out like at the end. That's really what this is. That's why I wanted it to be a vlog. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to bleach the knots right now. This is what it looks like. I like the color. I think the color looks cool on me, but I'm like, do you see how, do you see why I'm a little nervous about how this looks like this doesn't look flattering um long story short welcome to this vlog i, I it's gonna be I'm just gonna start small and work my way up so i'm gonna go in the middle first okay let me do the other side So I'm gonna leave this like this. Maybe like 10, 15 minutes. That's that. I'm gonna leave that for the next 15 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it. Then I'm going to wash the hair. I'm getting it all done tonight, y'all. And I did practice this haircut on another wig so I know how to do the mullet cut that I want. Um, so yeah. So fun fact, bleaching that did absolutely nothing to the knots. The knots still look the exact same. So I'm just not gonna bother. I had very minimal shedding when I washed it. Very minimal, maybe like a couple strands of hair came out. This is what it looks like wet. This is the best smelling shampoo I've ever smelled in my entire life. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, it's like perfume. It smells expensive and luxurious. It smells amazing. The water ran out a little bit orange at first, but then it cleared up. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. I'll link the video down below that I used to help me learn how to do this cut. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm probably just gonna time lapse it. So far, this is the front of it. I am really digging how it's looking. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the back part. Just gonna keep on going. I am back. I look rough. It's been like three hours. Let me tell you what I did. I went and I got food. And then while I was eating my food, I started the show Pose. And I got like two episodes in and they're like an hour each. So I basically watched a full length movie um and now we're here the hair is like drying at this point i'm i'm really digging the curl pattern
think I'm done. It's still kind of damp. I was just too impatient to wait for it to dry, so I blow dried it. Long story short, this is the haircut. It has potential. Let's just talk. We'll, we'll talk about the potential later. But we'll see what I look like when I come back, because I want to look like a 70s disco queen. 80s. What hair? Is this 80s? Anyways. I'll see you guys later. So I literally did this because I saw this trend on TikTok where everyone was doing like that super 70s hairstyle. Shake it out. I'm not a fan. This isn't the look for me. I look like Ace Ventura. It's giving me strong Ace Ventura. Yeah, I'm never leaving the house looking like this. Yo, so I was already sitting here filming another video, so I might as well just show you guys and end out this weird vlog. It's a really fun wig, a fun cut. So this is the final product. I am very happy with this wig. I just think this is such a look. So like I have so many cool ideas with this wig. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on social media so you can see me taking all the pics in this hair. I'm going to style her all summer, honey. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!